hello friends welcome to my channel if it is your first time hi my name is Melody nice to meet you and I hope that you enjoy this video so much that you like subscribe comment down below whatever you feel if it has to do with the video whatever and maybe even share with your friends if you're not a new subby hi was good eh. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, we won't be talking about what you need to focus on when you're bleeding through your vagina. Okay, so but before we start, I wanted to um, reply to a comment that was from my previous, oh, girl talk, girl talk. video. Um, and the reason why I'm replying in the video is because I try to like respond by the comment, but YouTube was saying something about community guidelines. Nye, nye, nye. So um, here we are. So maybe I'll insert the question. Um, I don't know why it's going against community guidelines, but anyway, to answer your question, because maybe if I read it, then they're going to take down the video. But I think whenever you say something that has to do with the vagina, if you use the actual word, like, YouTube is like... So, anyway, girl. Um, I have tried it once in my life, um, basically in that number that I was telling you in that video where um i had like period pains the night slash morning of my accounting exam um i i did like steam so basically just poured like boiling water in a bucket and then sat on top of the bucket so yeah that did kind of alleviate but um after that never did that so there's the answer and i know that i changed the shirt um but you see i took the the thumbnail before i took um, i recorded the video and so i decided to eat before i filmed this video and so as i was eating my noodles i missed so sorry um gilzami i'm wearing another white skipper it's just not the same okay and i really like that thumbnail and i wasn't gonna do all of that again so yeah okay so let's actually get into the video um i'm going to be i made notes from all the articles and stuff that i read and i put them on a google doc so if you're interested and you want to see like the that's so whack and you want to see the notes that i made um you can just comment down below and i will give you the link to the google doc and if it's like a lot of you guys asking then i'll just put it in the description box i'll update the description box okay so first of all we're going to talk about iron okay and then i'm going to talk about the food that you guys should focus on when you're on your period so iron first of all which is very very important why because the south african national health and nutrition examination survey found that the prevalence rate of anemia to be 17.5 percent among adults so in the survey they said that adults are people over 15 years old anyway um with significantly higher rates among females which is 22 percent and compared to males which is 12.2 percent so as you can see as a honey as a mugiele that you are already at a higher chance of getting anemia and that is because you bleed every month okay and also just being pregnant in general you need to take more iron as well as if you're a new mommy and you're breastfeeding your baby you're going to have to just take um more iron okay so yeah so this video is for you well anyone in general but specifically for my girlies okay okay so let's get into like i'm gonna just give you like i'm gonna take you i'm gonna give you a, a young physiology lesson Okay, so we're going to talk about um, iron. So we have blood. Okay, blood is cons consists of plasma, and plasma is broken down into different component or constituents, whatever you want to call it. And one of those constituents or components is called um, are your red blood cells, aka your erythrocytes. 
So your red blood cells are the ones that are responsible for transporting um, oxygen and or carbon dioxide, but mainly oxygen, okay? And so your, your red blood cells hold hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is what does the transporting of the, the oxygen or the carbon dioxide, whatever is going on in your body. So hemoglobin consists of um, a protein part, which is the globin, and the heme group, which is what holds the iron, okay? So the, the, the globin is like uh, four polypeptides, which is basically four proteins. Um, and then in those four proteins, the way that they're structured, they each contain an, a heme group which contains iron in the center, okay? So when you're breathing in or you're breathing out, the oxygen or the carbon dioxide gets attached to the iron group. And that is how it's carried throughout your body, which is why um, when you're like suffering or you have anemia, most of the time you feel tired, you feel fatigued. That's because you don't have enough oxygen circulating in your body in your blood okay the young physio um session is over okay so that's why iron is very 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 important so when you're bleeding you know you need to make sure that you're supplementing that and the best way to do it is by eating food that contains iron okay so some of the other terminologies that i'm going to cover is um uh, magnesium and prostaglandins um, so magnesium basically regulates nerve and muscle function and also um, blood pressure as well as making proteins and um, bone and DNA. But that's not the point. The point is that it regulates nerve and muscle um, function. So, you know, when you have period pains, it's because your uterus is basically contracting so that it can get rid of the uterine lining, okay? And then prostag prostaglandins, okay? Um, control processes such as um, inflammation, blood flow, the formation of blood clots, and induction of labor, okay? So that's what your body releases when you, um, on your period. It releases prostaglandins, which assist with um, the contraction of the uterus so you can get rid of the uterine lining, okay? So anemia is when your blood's oxygen capacity is below normal. So I'll probably insert in the video what the normal is for women and for men, but it obviously differs because, you know, um, that's the average for the average healthy man or woman. So it doesn't really include people that already suffer from different things like maybe diabetes or another type of chronic illness okay because it differs it varies from person to person so i'll probably put in the screen the average um i'll try to find south african statistics but okay um and so there's a lot of things that can cause anemia but it's categorized in the things that cause anemia are categorized into i'm hoping categorized 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 <laughs> into six different groups okay so there is nutritional anemia, which is a dietary deficiency of a factor that is needed for erythropoiesis. So erythropoiesis is the process of making red blood cells. So if you're not um, supplementing your iron somehow, some way, you're going to get anemia because your body is not then producing enough red blood cells, which means that its oxygen carrying capacity has decreased okay so that's one that um probably the average person suffers from is um nutritional anemia as well as women as well okay and then there is uh pernicious anemia aplastic anemia renal anemia and hemorrhagic anemia which is caused by uh the loss of a lot of blood so it can be acute like maybe a wound or it can be chronic, like um, excessive menstrual uh, bleeding or menstrual flow. That's the proper way. And lastly is hemolytic anemia. So I'll list the anemias on the screen and then maybe if you're interested in the other ones, you can go and click, 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 click on Google. So now we're gonna go into the foods that you should 
focus on when you're on your period but i just think that in general you should like strive for a healthy diet you know it shouldn't just be because you're on your period now you're focusing on making sure that you're eating iron and then like you only eat the required amount of iron for just a week in a month that's not great you need to implement all sorts of food you know like your essential proteins your you know essential nutrients blah 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 so essential proteins or whatever is what you should supplement via your diet which means because essential means that let me not say it means that because you know honestly i don't really trust myself as to what i learned in undergrad but correct me if i'm wrong but an essential something is what your body does not naturally produce so you have to supplement it by a diet okay so make sure that you eat a well-balanced diet guys it's very very important but if you don't want to at least as a honey when you're on your period make sure that you're somehow some way um eating the following okay so um chicken and fish um chicken is the one that mainly contains iron and protein and then fish also contains iron and protein but it also contains omega-3 fatty acids so um in this article that i read they mentioned another article or a journal um article where um people not people they got women to use omega-3 fatty acid supplements and those mugeles were like that ish works man you 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 need to get yourself on that they said that it eased the pain the period pains a lot and to the point where they didn't have to go get over the counter medications like maybe your ibuprofen or whatever so you can try that out i personally have never that the first time i read this that was news to me you know what i mean i was like all right so that's kind of interesting so maybe if that works for you or you know this it's not news to you you can always comment down below so that we know okay okay so the next thing is a snack which is dark chocolate which is rich in iron and magnesium um the next thing is nuts so nuts are rich in protein iron and omega-3 fatty acids so if you're not a nut person you know hmm? <laughs> if you're not <laughs> into like eating like almonds or cashews or peanuts or whatever in their raw form then you can always um uh substitute it with a nut butter like peanut butter or you can um substitute it with a nut based milk okay let me say that i don't give you guys options because that's what we do on the channel okay all right so the next thing is my girl miss ginger okay so ginger has anti-inflammatory effects which can soothe achy muscles it's also good for stimulating digestion okay because you know when you're on your period literally everything feels like it bloats you okay so also um it um reduces nausea as well as suppresses your appetite so i think that's great in terms of like curbing you know the unnecessary cravings that we get when we're on our period but you know what you can go off order that mcd's that chicken licking okay go to kota joe and get that kota you know what i mean or that pizza you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying personally i just it's just annoying craving things just because you're on your period that's whack for me for me other times i enjoy it okay yeah all right okay cool i'm not judging do whatever you want i'm just here to give some options and my opinions okay you don't have to listen to me i'm not your mother okay anyway um also just to sign up with ginger you shouldn't overdo it because if you do um you can get like heartburn and it can also cause tummy aches so everything in moderation everything in life guys okay everything in life, moderation okay next water okay we knew that lady was gonna say this um this is because it reduces your chances of getting dehydration headaches um you know because you know some girlies um you know they be getting like headaches that be induced from you know just being a girl and being a girl on her period so um get your water in okay get your water in before you go and reach for that panado or the grandpa because 
sometimes your cells just be thirsty, okay? They just be thirsty. Um, and I'm not saying that if you drink water, it's going to take away those headaches, but it probably will either make them less severe um, or just reduce its occurrences, okay? Water is magical. It's like a black girl. That's what water is, okay? Um, next is water-rich fruits, fruits if you're not a big water drinker. Personally, I think if you're not really into water, at least drink at least 750 ml a day, at least, and then supplement it by eating water-rich fruits like watermelon and um, cucumber, okay? So just do that. If you're not going to straight from the source, try and find other alternatives. But at least 750 ml, guys. Three cups of water, 750 ml. You could do that. At least, okay, minimum 500 ml. Because you really need to get water in there, guys. Like, please, eh? Help your kidneys out. Because I, I, kidney stones don't look like they're cute. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to help you. You do what you want with that information, okay? Next, we have leafy green vegetables, okay? Example, spinach. You know I was going to say spinach, okay? Like, really, obviously, my lady, in the morning, smoothie, in early, spinach. Thank you, okay? So, um, like I said, when you're on your period, there's a dip in your iron levels. I didn't say it like that, but, you know, there's a dip in your iron levels because you're bleeding, Okay? Um, especially if your flow is heavy and that can lead to like tiredness and you know, fatigue and dizziness and all these things. And you know, like being your, 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 your girly is already a lot of work. Like, I don't think you want to feel fatigued and dizzy on top of everything else. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> next, um, you can use, um, you can use, you can eat yogurt. This helps with yeast infections as well as it's rich in magnesium and contains essential nutrients like calcium. So um, I was, I think it's the same article that I was reading. Oh, oh, by the way, everything except for the beginning part where I was discussing iron and magnesium and prostaglandins, everything that I'm talking about in this video, um, the articles that I got them from are linked in the description box. So that statistic, I got it from this other article, but like, I mean, you could just Google what's the statistics for women in South Africa getting anemia. It will give it to you. And everything else that I explained, I'm sure you can find it on a YouTube video of how iron is, how the blood, how the hemoglobin is leaking and everything like that. Okay. So anyway, I was saying that in the article that I was reading, it said that, um, some women, when they do go on their period, or when it's about time to go on the period, they do are they are prone to yeast infections. So they were saying yogurt is your BFF, but I'm sure we pretty I think we knew this. If you didn't, no, you know. Next, we have vitamin C. So vitamin C assists in um, absorbing iron better, as well as like you know your skin, you know, making it look nice and tart and younger you know, as well as like healing wounds and stuff like that. But for this video, its main fact is that it helps with absorbing iron. And then uh, lastly, on my list, this gang things, guys, but I just took things that make sense, things that are, that make sense, that are easier, that are easy to, you know, get like, you know what I mean? Nothing too tense, nothing too extreme, you get me? Um, so last I have banana, which is high in potassium, vitamin B6, and other vitamins. Plus they're high in fiber, which can help you with your digestive system. Digestive, digestive system, okay? So as long as you got some of those girlies, I really think that, think that you can, you can like examine yourself with like majority of things in this. Because some of these things are, most of these things are nice, okay? Maybe the ginger, you can add some honey, you know what I mean? Dark chocolate, mm, but you know, just the piece. Um, I'm not really into like chocolates anyway, but you know what I'm saying? Um, water, guys. Watermelon. Who doesn't like watermelon? Um, yeah, man. I think these things are pretty doable. So, if you guys also have any other like substitutes for the stuff that i've mentioned then you can always let us know in the comment section below all right so then i just want to end off this part 
by telling you guys some iron inhibitors. So you might find that in this list that I'm about to tell you that it contradicts because some of these things were listen, listed in the food that you should eat. But that's life. Life is a contradiction, okay? Um, it's also a social construct. Okay, I'm joking. But yeah, it's just the inhibitors are things that you should decrease rather than completely cut out. So some of the inhibitors are fiber, calcium, and tannins. So tannins, you find it in coffee, tea, grapes, cranberries, strawberries, blueberries, apples, apricots, barley, peaches, dry fruits, mint, basil, rosemary. So you can see this tannins thing is in a lot of things. So I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to like cut out tea or cut out coffee but you have to be mindful so if you're going to for example if you are on iron supplements you shouldn't take the iron supplements with tea or coffee you know what i mean rather take it with water if you're going to have food you know what i mean don't after eating your food have coffee or tea because i even stopped doing that because it's hot now but i'm not going to do that now even uh at, during dinner i don't i drink water after I, I i'm done eating you know what i mean just to help so your body can take what it needs to take you give me you give me i will sure so keep that in mind so these inhibitors on stuff that you need to cut out from your diet you just have to be mindful when you're you're eating or drinking them um be mindful of what you ate prior to eating them you get me or drinking them you get me sure Okay, so I just put down three things that you should avoid. Um, so it's not a lot. Okay, maybe there is more, but I think these ones are the most important personally. But maybe not like avoid, but as well, just say decrease, especially when you're on your period. Like, especially when you're on your period, just say, just say, you understand? Okay, so. The first two is salt and coffee because they act in a similar way and what they do is they cause water retention which causes or which results in bloating. You understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So water retention is when the cell has gang water in it. Is that water retention? English help me. You understand what I'm saying? You get me. You get me. I hope I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'll put the correct thing on the screen. You know how I go. Editing me is just so ahead of the game. Okay, so that is what salt and coffee do. Um, and coffee can also exacerbate your headaches So um, and also cause digestive issues. So if you're a big coffee drinker, mate, 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 think about your life a little bit. I'm not saying say zero, you know what I mean? But just say decrease when you're on your, your, your period. Just to help yourself. Unless it doesn't do that to you. Because you know, sometimes people be different, you know? Like coffee don't do nothing to you. You get, but yeah. I'm sure you guys get. Anyway, um, the next thing, the last thing is red meat. So red meat, you know, it has the ions, it has the proteins. But the problem with it is that it's high in prostaglandins, okay? So like I said in the beginning of the video that um, naturally your body will produce a treat prostaglandins to assist in, you know, your uterus contracting to get rid of the uterine lining, right? So if you're eating red meat and you're on your period, that means you're increasing the amount of prostaglandins that are already in your body, which will then cause period pains. You get, there we go, there's the lesson. So, yeah, stay away from red meat or just decrease it. But red meat in general is really not that great for you. So, yeah. Just say, tone it down a little bit. You get me? Sure. So yeah, that's it for this video. And um, I hope that you learned something. I hope that you got some tips. If you have anything to share, always, you can, oh, you are free. You are free. Clearly, you're not free because, you know. But anyway, um, you're kind of free to say whatever you want in the comments. I will see you guys in my next video. And have a lovely day.